Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can fade audio in Final Cut Pro 10. Now this is really handy if a song or an actor just starts dragging on and on and they just keep talking. Now I'm gonna share with you some ways to use keyframes and control points to create audio fades. Then we're gonna try a couple shortcuts and transitions to quickly achieve the same effect. And now if you've ever had your music playing louder than your voiceover, I'm gonna show you a special audio trick called audio ducking that's gonna help fix that problem. Let's go check it out. All right, so we're in Final Cut Pro. What we're gonna take a look at is fading the audio here. Now what we're wanting to do is reduce the number of clicks and pops in the beginning and end of our, our clips. Um, it just helps create uh, satisfying fades and add some subtlety to our videos. All right, the first thing we're gonna look at is keyframes. Let's go up to the inspector, uh, make sure we are on audio, and we're gonna hit a keyframe right there, and let's go in a little bit to where we want it to fade in. Hit another keyframe there. Let's return to the first one and drag this down. So you can see that audio right there. Get a view on that. You can see how that changes. Let's go and play that back. Nice, subtle uh, audio fade. We can do the same thing when we go out. So let's go about right there. Hit the keyframe. So we're gonna hit that keyframe there and then drag the playhead to the end. Go back in one clip. Okay, we got our keyframe there. We're gonna go to the end, go back one frame, enter a new keyframe, and bring that down. Now we got a nice fade in and fade out. So as you click on your clip here, you'll see down at the bottom, in fact, let's expand this a bit so you can see a little bit more. All right, so the next thing we're gonna take a look at is audio control points. And on your clip, to create this fade, you'll see as you move your mouse over this section of audio, there's this little control point that you can actually grab and click. And what you'll see is that fade basically creates itself. You can do the same thing at the end. Find that spot, drag it in, and got that nice fade in, fade out. Now you can adjust it a little bit more. Let's right click on that. Whoa. It's kind of touchy. All right, so we have a few different options. Now linear, that's gonna create a constant rate of change. It's gonna be a steady climb. Uh, S-curve is really great for blending. It has a nice subtle fade in. Um, plus three and, and minus three dB. Uh, that's where you'll see uh, some other differences too. So depending on what you're wanting to do, plus three or negative dB, will be a gradual to a quick drop, or a quick drop to a gradual, or a quick climb to a gradual, or a gradual to a quick climb. So <laughs> it just depends on what you're wanting to use it for. Um, I tend to go for the, uh, the S curve. All right, so I hear you. You're asking me, Chris, how can I just drag and drop? Simple, simple, simple. Keep this simple for me, quick and easy. Let's try that out with the transition. So let's just grab this cross dissolve. Actually, let's see, let, let's hear this audio. This comes right in and it fades out. It doesn't fade out, it just drops. So we are going to drag cross dissolve right onto it. We can adjust these ends how we want, but let's just see what it does. Nice fade in. And a nice fade out. So you can drop this cross dissolve on any audio file. Uh, it also works great for like bringing in an ambient sound into a room. So sound effects, music, voiceover, you can use that to uh, fade in. If you're finding this helpful so far, just know we release new content all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Don't let stupid raisins fade out of your life. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notified when we release our next video. All right, so now I'm gonna show you some shortcuts. It takes a moment to get them all set up, but once they're set up, it's a dream. You'll be editing a lot faster with your audio. So we're gonna come up here, we're gonna modify this clip, looking at adjust audio fades. 
and let's apply fades. Boom. Couple clicks and we have a fade in and we have a fade out. All right, so that took a moment to find that in that menu. So to make that quicker, what we're gonna do is go up to Final Cut Pro, Commands, Customize. All right, so to create these shortcuts, we're gonna go here and duplicate this command set and call it Audio Fades. Okay, so we have our custom command set set to Audio Fades. Let's look for our fade. Now you have a ton of options. You wanna find something that's not already used though. So what I'm gonna try here is go with Shift four for apply, remove, we're gonna do Shift five, toggle, Shift six, toggle out, Shift seven. So we've got all those applied, four, five, six, seven with the Shift. Let's save that, close. Now let's try that out, we got Shift four. There we go, pretty nice. Let's remove that, Shift-5. You can just add an in or an out or take those away. Keyboard shortcuts, wonderful. All right, now this next trick I'm excited to show you is audio ducking. So has this ever happened to you? Let's play these clips. What is he saying? Okay, so sometimes we may have a music track that is really exciting and we want our vlog or we want our video to, to stand out and pop, but we can't hear what the person's saying. So there's a few different ways we can do this. I'm gonna start with a very simple, simple way. We can take our blade tool, cut our audio right here, go back to the regular selector, bring this down and Now we can hear what I'm saying, but it doesn't sound that great. So let's take that back. And the next thing we're gonna do is add some audio keyframes. So I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit here. We're gonna hold down the option key and you see how it gives you that little keyframe selector. So we're gonna go just before the clip, just inside the clip. Same thing at the end. And now that we have these points, we'll just drag this audio down. I find that past negative 20 is a good spot for this. So let's go ahead and play this back. So you can adjust that. So you got these little control points. You can drag this out if you want that to be a more gradual fade from in and, in and out of the music. You can also adjust this down here as needed. You may want to give my voice a little more volume too. Get ahead of the game and subscribe below to hear about our future videos. That sounds pretty great. All right, to make that go a little faster, we're going to come to this little drop down here. We're going to change our cursor to the range selection. And we're just going to drag from here on the audio to the end of this clip. And we get to drag it down. Now, if we want to adjust that, we can press the A button and then move these around. But that saves us from having to option, click, 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 click through all those spots. And instead, we just have a very fast solution. Now, let's roll that back. And there's another even quicker way to do that. Just hit the R key, which gives you the range selector tool shortcut. Drag it across, bring it down. And that sounds pretty great. Fantastic! Now that you've learned how to fade audio in Final Cut Pro, I've made another video about how to draw lines in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.